Hello everyone and welcome back to a Titbit session. This time I want to show you how to perform a CFD wind simulation in Rhino Grasshopper with the plug and butterfly and then apply the resulting wind pressure as loads in Karamba 3D. Butterfly belongs to the Ladybug family. Informations on downloading and installing can be found on the Foot for Rhino website. This definition can be divided into four sections. These are color coded the Rhino Grasshopper Geometry, gray, the Butterfly Workflow, blue, the result of wind pressure and velocity, red, and the Karamba model, green. Let's start with the definition. First, I create a geometry. In this example, it's a simple cube with a dimension of 10 meters. I use the rectangle and the box rectangle component. Then I deconstruct this B-Wrap and remove the bottom face. The other face, I connect them to the mesh B-Wrap component and set the mesh with elution to two and the refined factor to one. With these factors, all mesh faces have the same area by two square meters. Next, I create the butterfly geometry with the butterfly create butterfly geometry component. For that, I merge the cube and the environment and plug them in the input geo. The butterfly wall boundary connected to the boundary and the other settings are nuclead for a rough calculation. Next, I create the wind tunnel with the butterfly create case from tunnel component. This needs a name, a wind vector and the tunnel parameter. The butterfly wind vector also needs a wind speed, which refers to a reference high of 10 meters about the ground surface and a direction as a vector. Here we have 25 meters and the 25 meters per second and a wind direction in Y. The butterfly wind tunnel parameters determine the size of the tunnel. Here the scaling factors are two and one. And if you set the run to true, you can see the tunnel here with the eight points. Next is the meshing of the geometry and the wind tunnel. For this we need the butterfly block mesh, the butterfly wind tunnel grading and the butterfly snappy hex mesh. If you want to see the meshing, you can set the load in butterfly load mesh to true and you can see the mesh of the tunnel and when you zoom in you can see the mesh of the geometry. Next is the butterfly solution. For a wind simulation we need the butterfly steady incompressible recipe and the turbulence model. Here it's the rest turbulence. If you want more information about the turbulence model you can double click in the component and read the line 12 and 13 for learn more about the turbulence. Another important setting is the butterfly solution parameters and with the butterfly control digitory you can set an interval and an iteration. And now let's talk about the probes. Probes are points where pressure or wind speed is measured. It's a big thing in the simulation because it's incredibly important to define the correct points of the geometry. The points have to be part of the structure also for the Karamba model. The letters in the panel U and P stands for velocity U and P for pressure. Now will you show which points I chose. For that I take the Karamba mesh, explode them and offset the center points. 
The center points are essential because the load component of Karamba can generate a changeable load per each mesh face if we have the vector of the load on the face center. I collect these points in a merge component here and for a 2D section I take a mesh from Rhino and explode them and connect, uh, connect the center points also in the merge component. It is also important to know that the points have to be outside the butterfly geometry. If not, the result values are wrong or doesn't make sense. We can see it here. The points are all outside the geometry here. Okay, now we have all information and we can start our simulation. I set the toggle to true. So the simulation is done after 50 iterations. The result can be output with the component butterfly load probes value. The felt P is a pressure. I filter these values with the component find simulator member. Data are the value of the points we searched and set are all points from the merge component. I use it here before I plugged in the butterfly probes component. For the structure analysis I need the unit kilonewton by square meter so I divide it by thousand. The custom preview is for the visualization and I can also display the velocity but I will not go deep into the script. Let's move to the Karamba section and bring the pressure as loads of the cube. To create the Karamba model, I take the mesh and plug them in the mesh to shell component. The shell is made in concrete and the height is 10 cm. I determine the supports with the points output from the mesh to shell component here. And a simple is to exam all points of elements for their z coordinate and define those with z equals zero as supports. For the loads, I need a mesh and the corresponding pressure from the butterfly result as a vector. The mesh load variable is distributed the pressure on the nodes of each mesh face. So it's essential to select generate points here because we have a shell. The generation line load is only for beams. On the right side we see the loads for each face and on the left side in the green group we see in able to single consideration of the wind pressure on each side of the cube. With this slider you can change the side of the cube and the pressure here have to be multiplied by the normal vector of each face for the right unit for wind pressure or wind suction the sign have to change. So the elements, the supports and the loads placed in the assemble model and then analyzed and when you preview the model view you can click on the loads and can see here the loads in the front of the cube and if you change here the slider you can see the load of each side of the cube.
So that was an example of the link between Butterfly CFD wind simulation and Karamba. Thank you for your attention.